Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with Harry Potter Chatter Part 3. If you haven't seen Part 1 and 2, I will link them down below for you. But basically what we're here to do to talk about today is 11 polishes that are based on Harry Potter. I'm going to talk about the polishes themselves and I'm going to talk about Harry Potter. So if you're into Harry Potter and all that sort of stuff, keep watching because I'm going to talk about a lot of geeky things. And I am wearing a Harry Potter shirt for you today. I'm wearing the Gryffindor Quidditch t-shirt. And I think I did say to somebody in the comments or something that, um, although quite a lot of people down below, I love it when you say what house you are from. I myself don't, have never done a test to see what house I am from. I always kind of associate with Gryffindor, but I don't know if that's what, if that, I don't know. So I'm thinking that maybe in one of these videos, um, if I get one that I have less polishes, we will do the quiz together and we'll see what house I am. But I'm feeling like it's going to be... Just not Hufflepuff. That's the only one I kind of ruled out. I don't know. Last time we had a subscription box and this time we have another one. The first box that we have is the cast a spell box. This was released the same time as the level up box from last month. Last month? Yeah, last month. And that was the around like the end of July for Harry Potter's birthday. And there are five indie brands in the cast a spell box. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the packaging because this is just beautiful. There's all the spells on there. The five ones that we're going to talk about are in big. And then there's also a ton of other spells in small like Wingardium Leviosa, um, Akia, Asia, Asia, I can never say that correctly, um, what is there, Stupefy, Reducto, um, there's loads of them actually, Incendio, Petrificus Totalis, Imperio, um, there's loads of them, so yeah, as we open the box up there is a lot, there is um, the Deathly Hallows logo on the top there, black paper, and then all the polishes lined up in here. We'll go through the non-polished items first of all. So, so most of the brands have put in a card out and and or and sticker, um, and then we also have a Harry Potter sticker, and then from Ribbit's Stickets, which I'll insert a close-up for you, we have a set of um, nail decals and transfers. Um, I've never actually used these water-based transfers before, so it could be something I attempt in the future. But they're just super cute, and um, I've heard of Ribbit Stickets. It is like a well-established indie brand for nail art items. As well as that, you do get a nail care item from Lily Ann's Garden, which, again, I haven't heard of, um, but this is beautiful. It's a nail um, roll-on oil, and it's Send the Scent Butterbeer, and this is spot on. Oh my goodness, it is spot on. If anyone's been to the Warner Brothers Studios and you've had tried Butterbeer, this is perfect. It's very milky and sweet and almost like caramel, 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 caramel caramel Couldn't even say, say that then. Um, I love the applicator. I love the size. I love the scent. And I believe that you can buy this all the time from Lily Ann's Garden. So all the indies will be linked down below for you individually. But that is awesome. On to the five polishes that are in the brand. We'll start with some of the more well-off known spells. The first one is by Cupcake Polish and this is um, Expecto Patronum. Um, I said previously that we're always going to have a lot of Expecto Patronum polishes because it is kind of the iconic spell of the whole series maybe. I don't even know why. I think because there's so much of a hype about Harry having to do it. And then when he does it, things that happen, then him teaching other people. So I think that's one of kind of one of the reasons why Expect to Return is spoken about so much. This polish by Cupcake Polish is a beautiful mid-toned, it's like cerulean blue. Then there's also some silver flakies and silver, just lots of silver flakies basically in here. I've never tried cupcake polish before, so this is this actually I'd only tried one out of the products in these boxes before, so it was a great introduction to cupcake polish because also when I think of cupcake polish I don't really think of blues so I think that this is a great a great way to do that I think with all of the spells it's all going to be completely down to interpretation because okay, other than Avada Kedavra that you obviously think of the green with I think that every other polish is kind of the spell is what you see in your mind and um, to me I don't know if I would have gone royal blue but obviously the makers of cupcake polish did and it's stunning so that first one was um, Expecto Patronum by Cupcake Polish then we move on to Stashed Polish and she has done Avada Kedavra and this is like spot on in my mind. This is a beautiful um, mid-toned green base but it's the amount of gold shimmer in here that really makes it kind of like evil and exactly like the like lightning bolt that comes out of the wands for it. I just think that she absolutely got this perfect for me. Again, it's all subject to whatever you think but this is my first Stashed Polish. I think she hit the nail on the head. Love. 
We then have Septum Sempra, which is my Never Enough polish, and I love the Never Enough logo with the unicorn on. Septum Sempra is actually a spell that is invented by Snape. I believe that when Harry gets, is it the Half-Blood Prince textbook in book four? Five, that they see that this spell is written at the top here and it's a spell that he denotes as being for enemies so again a red flash would be appropriate because red you kind of associate with something bad um, this is a beautiful polish it again knowing that it, like it's a bad polish red I can see they're all going together very nicely and this is a beautiful polish so this one is set and set up by never enough now on to the two polishes that the spells might not be known to everybody straight away. The first one was one that I did know and this one is Legend Lemens and this is by Night Owl Lacquer and this is a beautiful purple base with a light purple shimmer and then also tons of flakies in here. So Legend Lemens is the spell that goes with Occlumency that Snape teaches to Harry. So Occlumency is the spell to keep people out of your head and Legend Lemens is the spell that gets people into your head if that makes sense. I think they're really like um, lots of stuff in here it's kind of mysterious um, and that's kind of why I think it fits it so well because it's like jelly and deep and all those things I think work really well um, and Legend of Men's is a spell that is not the most common when I first heard it I was like isn't that called Occlumency and then when I looked it up I was like no this is the one that goes with Occlumency so if they did this box again it would be really good for them to do the Occlumency to go to go with it um hint hint if you're watching um so yeah really love this one too and again my first night out lacquer polish I'll finish with the brand that I actually have tried a polish by them before and this is Blue Eyed Girl Lacquer and this is Fianto Dury is the spell. It's a very very light blue with then a little bit of a green and pink flash to it. Now this is the one that I, I thought, I guessed the spell but I had no idea what it was called. When I looked at this I said to myself I reckon that's the spell when they put their wands up in the air the Battle of Hogwarts that casts the protective layer over the castle and that is what this is called. So I believe if you do watch the film and I guess in the books when Flip starts it off he points his wand up and says Fianto Dury but um, I don't think I would have known that um, off the top of my head I, I could have guessed it based on this colour because this is the colour of kind of like the protective layer when you put this on your nails it's just magical because the gold um, pink and green shimmer just make it kind of like this it looks exactly like kind of like a protective glowing blue cast over something and Again, another polish that I think, to me, was nailed on the head. So Blue Eyed Girl Lacquer Fianto Dury. So that was everything in the Cast A Spell box. I thought that was a really well put together box. And I think it opens up nicely for them to do these over and over and over again every year. Please, I would love that. Then we'll go on to two from Glam Polish. The first one is called the Chamber of Secrets. And this is a beautiful um, turquoise colour with some multi-chrome glitters in here. I think this is a really great polish to me for Chamber of Secrets and I don't know if this just because the front cover of the book of Chamber of Secrets is like a bluey greeny teal colour and that's why to me like I associate this kind of colour with the book the Chamber of Secrets. Um, the Chamber of Secrets itself the chamber I guess could be open to interpretation of whatever colour you see because it is I guess there's a lot of water in the chamber so maybe that's why they went with this. So uh, these ones this time I think are a lot harder to pinpoint whether it's exactly perfect for me because they are more broader termed things. Um, but for me this was a good Chamber of Secrets colour. I, I, I approve. The other one is called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and this is a beautiful mid-toned purple with a strong shimmer in there again and there's also a ton of glitters in here. To me when I think of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them I think of very jewel toned polishes and colours like a navy and a burgundy and a purple. I don't know if that's just from kind of the colours that they wear in the films, um, especially um, Luke Scamander, I think that he kind of wears these kind of colours in the, what he's wearing quite a lot um, and I think that's why I think that this colour goes so well. I could imagine this being worn on someone's nails in the film and it just looking really magical and blending in with the kind of scenery of the film. So again another big thumbs up from Glam Polish. And I have ordered the entire Magical Spells collection that came out from Glam Polish recently, so I will be doing a dedicated swatch and review video to that when I have them. We then go on to Girly Bits, and this is my first Girly Bits polish. This, is, this series has really made me try new brands, which is really great, because I think, especially with me, with my indies that I love, I just kind of get into a bit of a rhythm of buying the same ones over and over again, so this has been making me break out. The Girly Bits one is called Patronus and it is this beautiful silver colour and to me when I first looked at it I thought, hmm, 
I don't know if I think Expecto Patronum is just white and silver, but this is not called Expecto Patronum, this is called Patronum, which therefore we should assume is just the Patronus animal itself, and therefore this is perfect. It's this like white, almost silver, reflective polish. When you build it up on your nails, it's just like micro flakies in a clear base. It's just kind of almost like ghostly and not... When I think of the Patronus, it's not something hard and that like, you can touch, it is kind of something like almost like a ghost that you could reach through, and I think that worked really well in this polish so another another one i approve of girly bits patronus we have three left this first one here is from palish and this is my second palish i've ever tried and this one is called ravenclaw now i know that when i did my first video i said that i possibly wasn't going to go and try and get the house colors in other brands because i know so many people have done them but when i saw this i just from a polish standpoint not a harry potter issue i just wanted it i wanted it just because of the color and the fact that it was called Ravenclaw kind of went nicely. Um, so it's a beautiful jelly base with a ton of gold, blue and a little bit of silver flecks in sparkles in here. The only thing that I would say if I'm being super picky is I think the Ravenclaw has got the silver. Um, like goes with the silver on the crest. So therefore seeing the gold in it was a little bit strange. But that's just me being really picky because other than that this is stunning. Stunning. Love it. And the last two are from Sparkly Nail Polish and these are two, a little duo she released and they are based on two of the classes. This is another thing where we're going to get into a territory of you can kind of do what you like because who's going to say what each class colour should be? These are History of Magic and Defence Against the Dark Arts. The History of Magic is this one. They are similar where they are both duo chromes but um, History of Magic is definitely more pink and it goes more pink purple yellow green in the spectrum um and it's also a little bit of a hollow as, um, aspect to it as well and i think the history of magic was a good choice to put with defense against the dark arts because i think i don't know i think that history of magic doesn't get enough hype and there's obviously professor bins that is a ghost who's the teacher and i think the history of hogwarts and the history of magic to me is very interesting because i've said this before jk rowley has just got it all up here and i want to kind of get in her head and know exactly the reasons for everything that she's done and i think that's why pottermore and then oh we'll talk about that in a second the new fantastic beast film are going to be amazing so that first one there was history of magic and going with that one we have defense against the dark arts which is very similar in a duo chrome but this is a lot more purple and a lot more gold and you probably don't need both of these because they are so similar but um i do and I like, i'm really digging multi-chromes at the moment to against the dark arts of course would to me would be this sort of mysterious um, duo chrome color that makes perfect sense it's kind of mysterious and a little bit dark and a little bit evil um so yeah both of these i think match their respective house houses respective classes really well so who else saw the release for the new fantastic beast film um i think is it it's coming i can't even remember the, the subtitle of that i'm just too excited to talk to you guys about it i want to say that i think the casting of this has been amazing johnny depp as grindelwald i think was announced obviously a long time ago when the first film came out and i was just 100 percent on board with that because to me grindelwald is kind of eccentric kind of weird um yes i can see that and now jude law as young dumbledore i think is perfect um i'll talk about with my husband and i just think that it's just such a great casting for it because i believe that to me jude law is quite like a gentle soul and i think that deep down dumbledore is a very peaceful and humble character and i think jude law kind of mirrors that really well and i can kind of see jude law in like 50 years time would look kind of how we see him when we see the harry potter films so i'm very excited i've got to wait a year because it's not going to be out till next year but i'm pumped so the next videos you're going to see harry potter wise will be my glam polish um, review of their magical spells collection and then there will be another harry potter video for part four which probably isn't going to be coming out on this channel now probably till like january february time because i have a lot of other things that i've got to do first but let me know down below what you think of these and again if there is any harry potter polishes you've heard of let me know down below so i can check them out give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you soon bye